Your tip will begin in just a minute. Thank you for watching the tip videos. If you enjoy them, I think you'll really like our computer-based training course. It's a complete course in geometric dimensioning and tolerancing, which includes over 170 short videos similar to the ones you watch with the tips. The videos follow our full-color textbook and workbook, so it's like attending one of my seminars without ever leaving home. You can take it over the web, as a standalone on your own computer, or over a corporate network. You instructors may use it to augment your lectures, and anyone will find it helpful as a refresher or quick reference. Just visit our online store or call us to learn more. Now, here's your tip. The continuous feature symbol was added to the ASME Y14-5-2009 standard. Before the addition of this symbol, we didn't have a good way to apply a form control to a feature of size that had interruptions. Some people tried to accomplish this using profile of a surface. The problem that was using profile of a surface on a toleranced feature was not clearly supported in the standard. Here's the right way to control the form of an interrupted feature of size. Usually in assemblies we like to have interchangeability of parts, but that's not always the case. In some hydraulic and pneumatic applications where you want a metal on metal seal, the parts are selectively assembled. In other words, they're matched. Let's say that this is a spool for a spool valve in one of those applications. I would make up several spools and try to keep them very cylindrical while I allowed the size to vary. Notice that the size tolerance is bigger than the cylindricity tolerance by quite a bit. Then I would grade the spools and then I would match them up to bores and then I'd do a pressure test to make sure that they're not going to leak. Well, we have a little bit of a problem here because cylindricity is an individual tolerance and I really don't have one feature here. I have five features. There's five diameters because of the interruptions. So the cylindricity applies to those five diameters individually. This is showing you how long my cylindricity tolerance zone would be. So it's not keeping all five acting like one nice cylinder. It's keeping the individual cylinders acting like a nice cylinder but no relationship between them. In 2009 we were given the continuous feature symbol CF. Now I can add that and it says treat those five diameters as though they were one continuous feature. If I do that and add a cylindricity to this, the cylindricity zone will apply to the entire length of those five features. So now from part to part the size may vary by as much as 0.1 total but whether I have a large spool or a small spool it has to be very cylindrical over the length of the five diameters. That way I can have very nice cylindrical spools and I can match them up to very nice cylinders in the bodies to make sure that my valve will seal. Notice when I added the CF the 5X went away because I don't have five features anymore as far as the standard is concerned there is only one continuous feature ignoring those interruptions. Once again, prior to the 2009 revision of the standard, notes were required to explain what we can now state by using the continuous feature symbol. The standard is evolving. Each revision gives us more tools to simplify and clarify the design intent on the drawing. Of course, the people making and reading the drawing need to understand these tools. This is today's print reading. If you or your folks need to learn how to properly apply the tools and read prints, contact us because at Techies, GD&T rules. I'll see you next tip.